So that's kind of a continuation of my balance of life uh, video, kind of. You know, my wife said this power wash is not working anymore, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hook it up and try it out, and if it's not, I'll go recycle it at Best Buy. See, recycle people. But I kind of wanted to show you the. Looks like a, I'm, I'm, I'm almost feeling like this will be the final step, other than maybe doing a little more 303 protecting on the inside of the car. But what I'm doing, see, you know, and I, I'm sorry they don't make this anymore. You'd have to use car wax. But this is that Meguiar's Paint Protect. And uh, look at how dirty that pad is. And, and here's another thing. When you're working with car care equipment, you know, I don't want that paint protect all over my hands. I don't want car wax all over my hands. Um, so I bought by boxes of uh, latex gloves long ago. And uh, so we're just lathering the whole car up with the, uh, the paint protect. Uh, and I'm going to leave it on here for 24 hours. And uh, so that should uh, protect the car quite nicely. Uh, when we get that pine sap, I've already got it on the roof. Roof's real important, people. Real, real important. Because that pine sap just drips, drip, drips right down on the roof. And of course, you, I'm getting the lower places. I've already, you can see the tire. I've already put the, uh, the uh, tire black on the tires. And so we're getting there. We're getting there. And uh, we're weaponing the car up. And uh, it's going to be good to go. Peace out. So I wanted to add on to that video just a little bit because, <clears throat> uh, you know, one of the things that you want to make sure that you do when you're getting ready for a trip like this, uh, well, we've already waxed the windows. We talked about that, but, uh, you know, it's not just getting the, the paint, you know, I've, I've put that paint protect on. That's why I'm going to miss paint protect because it's no longer a product because see with the paint protect, I can also put it on the, on the plastic and it really does a good job and shines it up and makes it look nice and uh, protects it really well and that's where you know you can't use a car wax on that so that's where mcguire's i, I don't know what they're thinking about maybe they was working too good you know because it'll this will last a year so i'm gonna i gotta open the doors now and we're gonna get inside those doors um and then i'm just gonna let that paint protect sit on here and you know what you do you know if you really really going to do this right you just keep going over it you keep going over it you keep going over it you keep going over it and you try to get every morsel of that car covered with paint protect especially if you're going to be camping in the national forest uh so we're 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 weaponing up people we're weaponing up and uh man i tell you i'm sweating big time it's only um it's only 90 degrees here in Florida. <laughs> that's a that's a cool day, yeah, but you know I'm I'm just working in the garage and uh, getting it done, getting it done, getting it done day by day, day by day. That's a song. You ever heard that song? That's a really cool song. Day by day. All right, peace out, and we'll probably get another video to tack onto this one. And but I got to open up the hatch. I got to open up the hood. And I got to open up the doors, and we're going to get all that done next. So, <laughs> I'm just chuckling, okay, because I've, you know, I put the paint protect on here, and I'm thinking, oh, man, you know, I'm, everything's looking good. And then tomorrow, you know, I'll be rubbing it off. It took me about four hours, and uh, I, I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it, but the tire pressure sensor's back on. We did a whole video on tire pressure. Either I got a bad tire pressure sensor, or one of these tires is low. Now, you would say, well, you know, why don't you just pull out your tire gauge, you know, put it on the tire, pump the tire up. Okay, yeah, I, I would do that 99% of the time. Uh, if I wasn't going on an 8,000 to 10,000 mile trip. So, guess what? We're going back to Homosassa, Florida. Because <laughs> I'm going to show them that that tire pressure, I'm, I, I'm not going to fix it. I am not going to fix it. This is their responsibility. Uh, now i got to call them tomorrow and try to get an appointment. They'll probably just tell me to come in, and then they're going to waste an hour of my time. Uh, and, and they'll probably just put a little air in the tire and uh, come out and say, everything looks fine. We didn't find any nails or anything. I said, I'm, but, of course, I'm going to point out, this is the second time that the tire pressure sensor has come on on the Toyota Prius Prime and it, we've got a problem, you know? No way, no way I'm going on an 8,000 mile trip with a tire pressure sensor that's not working. So I'm looking at the tires, they all look like they got air in them, but like I said, I'm just gonna leave that tire pressure sensor on 
because uh, if I if I put air in those tires, the last time that sensor went off, and that's where we stand. So we're getting there, I guess. It's uh, one day, one day, yeah, one day, one day, yeah. And of course, in the meantime, I got to look at this power washer. I'll I'll take care of that tomorrow. I'm I'm done for today. I've spent uh, nearly eight hours working on this car, weaponizing it, and getting it ready for the trip. All right, peace out. Well, let's do the mantra because I think this is enough for a video. Freedom! Oh, freedom! Good to live in Republican Florida with DeSantis! Woohoo! So to, uh, to finish off this video, I thought I'd uh, just have a, a little fun because we're in a holding pattern again. <laughs> so I called the Toyota dealer and I said, look, man, I've already brought the car by one time and, uh, you know, the tire pressure sensor was going off. This, well, it's actually the third time the tire pressure sensor's gone off. So the first time, at the, uh, the first time I fixed it myself, the second time I took it to the Toyota dealer and they said everything was okay and they put some air in the tire and sent me on my merry way. But this time, sometimes you got to beat them up, man. You got to beat them up. So I'm going back. I got a Thursday one o'clock appointment. We're going to go in there and because uh, this time I have an appointment. The last time they said, don't even worry about an appointment because they just thought, you know, oh, it's just low on air and we'll just put a little air in the tire and send him on his merry way. This time, they're going to actually have to look at it. Now, we've either got a bad tire pressure sensor or one of my tires has is, is got a nail in it. I don't see any alternative. Why would the tire pressure sensor come on three times in two months if there's not a problem? So that's where we're at. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of tie off this, uh, this video at this point. Um, so once again, we're in a holding pattern, but at least I've got the car... Uh, well, a little more weaponed up. We got the windows waxed and we got the uh, paint protect lathered it all on there. And so tomorrow, uh, you know, uh, but, you know, look at that. That's another three days lost. Another three days lost. You know, of course, I still got to seam seal the tent and everything. So it's not like I'm not making progress. And uh, I am looking forward. I'm hoping that we're going to get a couple of trails in there in Homo, Homo Sasa, Homo Sasa, Florida. And uh, that's why I wanted to tack this on to the end of the video, because I want to advertise that we're, we're going to do another hike. There's a seven mile trail there. Don't know if we'll get that because uh, it was too wet. And man, I, I don't think even in three days it's probably dried out enough. Um, and I'm going to have to weapon up for that. You know, I got to have my hiking pants on, my hiking shoes, uh, you know, the, the, my uh, walking stick. You know, that'd, that'd be seven, seven miles. But there's another trail. The la and that trail was too wet also. Uh, that was where they were pulling that car out of the woods. If you watch my videos, uh, that was that was a hell of a sight, wasn't it? Boy, that car was deep in the woods. So um, that's where we're at. <clears throat> you guys, peace out and uh, stay free. Boy, I completely forgot. <laughs> there was the one thing that I wanted to tack on to the end of this video, uh, other than just talk whining about the dog on trip. I don't know if you're following the news, people. The UK is getting ready to deploy the military because of the gas shortages that are taking place there. You still think I'm crazy for buying a Toyota Prius Prime, getting 133 miles to the gallon? Now we're at 320 a gallon here in Florida. I'm expecting to see 330, 340, 350. And well, we see gas shortages here in the United States because they're getting them in the UK. I mean, they're going to actually, I've never even heard of such a thing, deploy the military because of gas shortages. So you think I'm crazy for being on the road, wanting to make sure I got everything that I need to survive, live off trail, live in the national forest and do whatever. You just keep thinking that. You just keep thinking that when your next gas shortage.